I am very impressed with my next organization this morning. They are known as the Sister Season Fund. You could say that they are locals helping locals. Right now they're gearing up for the upcoming spring fashion show. The organization secretary, Julie Hansen, has all the details for us this morning. Julie, it's a pleasure having you here on the Thank show. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Now tell me a little bit about the Sister Season Fund, Julie. Sister Season began in 2005 mm -hmm. when there was a need that was recognized that um, we need to put together some benefits to help people in the community that uh, didn't have any other resources. So they started having fundraisers to benefit um, people locally here in Key West. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that you're helping people locally. Who are these people, though, that you're helping? Are they any certain types? Um, the people that work in the tourism industry, which is a broad range. Mm -hmm. uh, restaurants, uh, local bars and taverns, musicians, people that work in our um, gift shops all around Key West. Okay, so if they don't have resources coming in from their job, that's when you guys can step in and help them continue to live here? Exactly. If they have become sick or injured through no fault of their own, they can apply to us and once the, we have um, all the documentation, then we can assist them with their rent or their utilities so they can concentrate on getting, regaining their health or getting over an accident. Okay, so what would you say are the major guidelines then? Those right there? That yeah, uh, you yeah. must live in 33040. Mm -hmm. um, you must have been employed when the illness or accident occurred, and you must be able to return to work. We don't do long-term um, retirement, those kinds of things, but locally um, to get you back on your feet mm -hmm. so you can continue contributing to the community. Now, how do you guys raise funds for a sister season? We are very busy out throughout the year. Yeah, we have a lot of fundraising going on. We do bingo two uh, Mondays a month at the Green Parrot. We have a huge event called the Survivors Party. Um, that's held, generally it's been held at the southernmost beach. Um, we do bachelor auctions, uh, turkey turnabout around Thanksgiving, and just many uh, smaller venues. And, and it adds up all this, and this is the community giving back to the community. Now, you have this upcoming spring fashion show, Julie, and yeah. this is actually your first fashion show, correct? Yes, we're really excited about it. Mm -hmm. yes. And where is it going to be held? It's going to be held at the southernmost house, or some people prefer to say the southernmost mansion. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be March 10th, which is a Sunday evening, and the doors are going to open at 6 o'clock. The show will start at 7. Mm -hmm. And who all will be participating in this, Julie? We have men, women, and children. And this is very exciting that we are including children in this event because we're, it's nearing Easter. So we're going to have a little surprise guest uh, during our intermission for the children. Okay. Uh, it's okay. going to be an Easter bunny. Okay. <laughs> so you already told the surprise then who it is. Yeah, the little <laughs> kids are all at school, I hope. Okay, right. So, so they, the surprise isn't ruined for them. Not now, Julie, can anybody attend this fashion show? Can anybody even be in it if they want to? We have about 20 models, men, like I said, men, women, and children. We have uh, over 14 boutiques locally that are supplying the fashions. Mm -hmm. um, the tickets are going to include light hors d'oeuvres, so we have six or seven, I believe, uh, restaurants that are donating their time and their hors d'oeuvres for the show. Okay, so it's a great way to see some spring fashions, but it's also a wonderful way to help out your amazing organization, because all the funds raised, they go right back into Sister Season. Absolutely, 100 percent of what we take in, we put it right back into to be able to be there for someone that needs us. Great, Julie. Yeah. I think that this is an amazing organization that you have. And if there's people out there interested, they can find you on Facebook. Just check out Sister Season Fund on www.facebook.com. Julie, thank you for being on this morning. Thank you so much. We hope really you have a great turnout. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for tuning in with me today. I hope you can join me back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day day. Okay, we're It'll be okay.